A day before the official start of the 2012 Seoul Nuclear Security Summit, the organizing committee held an opening ceremony for the summit's media center. Korean Foreign Minister Kim Sung-hwan and local media representatives attended the ceremony. From today, the International Media Center will be operating around the clock for the next three days, allowing international broadcasters and newspapers to report the latest news from the summit. The media center is equipped with 1,300 working spots for journalists with around 100 broadcast booths, five promotional booths to introduce Korean culture to foreign journalists, as well as art exhibitions with nuclear security themes, fill the corners of the media center. The media center is rather empty now, but from Monday morning, this is where more than 4,000 journalists from both home and abroad will be filing in the latest from the 2012 Nuclear Security Summit. Journalists were already setting up operations on Sunday, and a few were typing away on their laptops. Summit just arrived in Seoul to cover the summit, where more than 50 world leaders will be present. I came here from Tokyo, where I'm based. And yes, this is a very interesting summit. I think uh, it will advance on a more uh, feasible plan comparing to Washington. The 2012 Seoul Nuclear Security Summit is one of the largest international gatherings this year. And the media center is where journalists covering the event will hunker down and get their work done. Hwang Sung-hee, Arirang News.